Welcome to the Man Cave. I'm your host, Nick. I got with me some Christmas sandwiches. And on these Christmas sandwiches is a secret ingredient called cucumber. It's no longer a secret anymore. Sorry I spoiled it for you, but it needed to be said because today we're going to be talking about cucumber. Have you ever seen a cucumber? I have. Well, it's this. Now, you'll notice there are very many complicated and intricate parts to this fruit jitable. Frugitable. I don't know if it's a fruit or a vegetable. It's got seeds, um, but it's also, it got water in it. Fruits are like hydrated. Se apples are like 70% water. Uh, mangoes are like, they have juice. So this is also like that. So I think this is, I'm just gonna say, this is probably a fruit. It's a cucumber. They call it a cucumber because it, it's like a cue. You ever see a pool, pool cue? Cue is basically a thing that's like a stick, unless you're talking about the letter, and it's like that. Well, that's a capital for Q. The lowercase Q is all weird shaped. Like this is a giant. This is like a capital Q. This is and this is like a little Q. They look different. This is a cucumber. What is the most important thing about the cucumber? How does it taste? Because it is meant for consumption, kind of like a pepperoni. I'm a I'm a be honest with you. This is not a man's food. This is a rabbit's food, but it is a good food. It tastes good. You can eat this and not worry about being feminine. You can eat this and not worry about your manhood. You know, you could put this on a sandwich that is a manly sandwich, and the sandwich will still be manly. It won't be more manly, but it'll still be manly. Now, you'll notice there are seeds in there. Do the seeds taste good? If I can get one. Tastes exactly the same. Okay, now the cucumber is green, which means if I chroma key it, it'll look like this. Okay, so if you edit videos, don't do that. The cucumber is also green because it is actually half vegetable. I know I said it was a fruit because it is like mostly fruit. It's like 70% fruit, but it's also half vegetable. And you can plant the seeds and grow it out of the ground. They grow out of the ground. Uh, foods that grow out of the ground happen to be more nutritious because, you know, a lot of things like worms are from the ground and they're, they have protein and then they die and they make the dirt and the dirt makes the, the things that grow out of the ground. So there's more protein in them. So this has actually got more protein than like the average, like a fruit doesn't have as much protein as this because this grows from the ground. Fruit grows from trees, obviously, or bushes. So mostly berries grow from bushes. Now, you could see just like the uh, pepperoni a while ago, that this has a skin. The skin is a darker shade than the interior, which is a lighter limeish green. Now, you can eat the skin. I would recommend that you wash it first. Cause you don't know where to spin. One of my favorite things about cucumbers is the crunch. I mean, listen to this. Ow! My jaw. And that's how you know you got a good one. Because it's really firm and, you know, if you bit a smaller piece of it, it would be really crunchy. That kind of hurt a little bit. But that's okay. It's just a quality assurance test. You can judge cucumbers are a softer. My jaw still hurts. Ow. Alright. So let's just like peel. Yeah, actually, uh, so you could get an idea of what's really happening. You know what just occurred to me? The way you spell cucumber is like C U O or no C U E? No, it's C U C U M B E R. But like you could just write like Q cumber. Why don't they do that? That sounds like it'd be easier. Anyways, this is like the interior of a cucumber. It's all kind of like the same, like what you see here. This is the most basic thing I've ever talked about in my entire life. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like a stick. <laughs> it all looks uniform. There's not even a company that sells this. It's locally grown. Um, I would recommend you always buy locally grown cucumbers, unless you live in like Alaska, where it's harder to grow cucumbers. Not because there's less water, but it's cold. These grow in like here, so why would it, you know, I can't imagine it would grow in Alaska. Did I say Alaska or, or Antarctica? Where am I talking about? I forget. Oh, all I know is it is delicious. I want to finish it.
Most people eat cucumbers with salt. You don't have to do that. You can put sriracha on it. I've never tried it. I can imagine this would go good with a lot of things. I've tried it with uh, hummus. They've got the, you know, they have like mini cucumbers. You could get vari different varieties of cucumbers. There's like mini ones that you could buy in a pack. And then those are good for dipping. I'm dipping cucumbers. Before I finish eating, like I want to do the bottle just because I'm going to end up eating the whole thing. It's delicious. I'm sorry. Screw the pepperoni flip, do the cucumber flip, and then mash up your cucumber up, you could come up. <laughs> what else is interesting about the freaking cucumber? Let me tell you. So we can test the smell of this cucumber too by sniffing it like that. It smells like its color, green. Why does it smell green? Grass is green, okay? Weeds are green, trees are green, while well, they're brown, but like the leaves are green, right? And it smells like kind of like those things. So that's, uh, that has nothing to do with the quality of it, but I just, you know, thought I'd share that information with you. There's something unique about a cucumber that other fruits and vegetables and foods alike do not possess. It is good when you cut it up and it, it, it fits well, it fits well with other things like sandwiches, for example. I'ma eat a sandwich right now. Thank you for watching, commenting, and subscribing. That was just nasty. Why did I do that? Do yourself a favor. Don't ever act. Oh, I should probably finish eating this first. Right? Do yourself a favor, don't ever accidentally sit on a cucumber. It might go up your butt. Alright, you don't want that. <laughs> and be sure to check out the Dollar Beard Club. Link in the description. And stay manly! I'm ahead. It's not easy being green. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw today, be sure to click that subscribe button right over here. And if you want to see one of our previous episodes, check it out right up there. And if you want to check out my Let's Talk series, you can just click the link right up here to bring you to our latest video. And as always, folks, stay, stay manly. manly. Ah!